What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Vim tutorial on this channel. Today we're going to cover marks or I also like to call them waypoints, which is a Vim feature that allows us to easily jump around between important points in different files uh, in our editor. So let us get right into it. All right, so I personally really enjoy using marks in Vim. This is one of those features that makes my life as a coder way easier, especially when working on large code bases. The basic idea is that we can create waypoints for certain positions uh, in the same file or across multiple files, and we can then easily jump around these waypoints um, in Vim or also in other editors that have Vim bindings that support Vim. At least in PyCharm, that works very easily. So let's get right into an example. Let's say I have here in NeoVim a file1.txt. Uh, I'm going to just write some text here. Hello world. This is some text. By the way, if you want to have a Vim setup, a professional Vim setup, you can just uh, look into my video. I have a video on this channel. It's one of the best performing videos. You can just go to my channel, sort um, for popular videos, and you're going to find this full Vim setup, full Neo Vim setup video. Um, but essentially what we can do is we can just have some stuff in here, and then we can use the M key binding uh, in normal mode. So I can just say M followed by uh, a letter. So for example, A to mark this exact position here um, as the waypoint, I like to call it as the mark A. So I can move somewhere else now and I can use this uh, single quotation. So this character here, this one, um, followed by A to jump back to that position. So I use the single quotation A and I jump back to the same line. So if I'm down here, single quotation A jumps back. And then I can do that also with different characters. So I can say MB to mark waypoint B here. And then I can again say, uh, jump to A, single quotation A, single quotation B, jump around. So just to make this clear again, because I don't have an animation here showing my key presses, uh, what you do is you say MA, MB to mark the location, and then you go single quotation A, single quotation B to jump back to those positions. Now, if you want to jump to the exact position, uh, you can use backticks uh, on my German keyboard. It doesn't work as well, but you could, if you have an American keyboard, just say backtick A or backtick B to jump to the exact position. So not just the same row, but the same row and column. This is also an option. Um, and now you can combine this waypoint or this mark here with different commands. So if I'm here, for example, I can say uh, delete, and then I can say um, single quotation A, it deletes everything um, until the line A. That's the basic idea. So the same way we can combine different things in Vim, we can also combine, uh, or, or the same way we can do delete word, the same way we can do a yank word, the same way we can do uh, C, W, to change the word, the same um, thing can be done with waypoint. So I can just, instead of saying W, I can say single quotation A, and it's going to consider this mark, this waypoint as the position. Uh, we can also take a look at all the marks we already have by saying colon marks as a command here. Um, you can see here, I have some marks in the same file. So everything you can see here is in the same file. And then you also have some marks in different files. And we're going to talk about this here in a second. Um, so this is how you can list the marks. You can also just list, uh, list specific marks. So if I say marks ABC, it's going to listen all the marks ABC. C doesn't exist now. So if I create another mark C here, MC. Now if I run the command again, you can see we have here also the mark C, line one, column zero. So the first position here in the Texas Hello World, the, the line Texas Hello World. Um, we can also delete marks by saying del marks. So del marks A, for example. Now, if I call marks ABC, we don't have mark A anymore. Uh, I can also say del marks A to C. So A, B, and C in this case. And then we can see no marks matching ABC. Um, and this can also be used like this del M. Um, we can also delete all lowercase marks by just saying del marks exclamation mark or del m exclamation mark. This deletes all lowercase um, marks. Now, we can also use uppercase characters. So I can also say mark and then uppercase a 
So I can then say marks A. You can see I have this mark A now. The difference between lowercase and uppercase marks is whether they are global or not. So the basic idea is lowercase marks uh, relate to one specific file. I can have marks A, B, C, D, E, F, G in that file, and I can have the same marks A, B, C, D, E, F, G in another file, and they don't interfere as long as they're a lowercase. If they're uppercase, um, it's a global waypoint or a global mark. So if I have uppercase A here, I cannot have an uppercase A somewhere else because then it would override this one. So there can only be one uppercase A in general, but they can be there, there can be one lowercase A for each file. So that's the basic idea. Let me show you what this looks like. If I create a second file, file2.txt, you are going to have some stuff, just some content. Uh, now I can look at the marks. You can see that the uppercase A is in the file1.txt. Uh, sorry, marks, marks, there you go. Um, uppercase A is in file1. We're now in file2.txt, as you can see. And now if I say single quotation uppercase A, it jumps to the other file, even if it's somewhere else, even if it's in a different directory, it opens that file because the waypoint is there. And now you can probably see why this is very useful uh, when you're working on large code bases, especially if you're doing it on Vim in the command line, but this can also be done in PyCharm and go, I'm going to show you here in a second what this looks like. But this is very useful because now if I have 15 different files that I'm working on simultaneously because they're all interconnected and I need to change stuff about uh, in, in all of them. I can just say, okay, maybe I have a sheet of paper or maybe I have a notepad open up and I say, okay, A is where this function is being uh, called and B is where this function is being defined and C is a configuration line that's very important, uh, all uppercase, let's say. So what I can do is I can just say, instead of going back and forth, switching back and forth between all these files, looking uh, or searching them, clicking on them, scrolling to the position, forgetting which line it was, forgetting which position it was, I can just jump to the waypoints, which is very, very efficient. So if I'm working here now, uh, I can go back to the other file, nb2. Let's say this is a Python file with 500 lines of code. And the other one is also a Python fi a file with 600 lines of code. Now, instead of and, and let's say I don't have just two files, let's say I have uh, 15 files. Now, I don't know exactly where the one line was where I was setting something. Uh, but I know that it's waypoint A, I can just say single quotation A, it jumps to that line. Um, I hope you can imagine this, even though this is just text. So this doesn't just work in the terminal here, this doesn't just work on uh, Linux in Vim, or in Vim in general also works on Windows, of course. Uh, by the way, this is a core Vim feature. This is not Neo Vim. This is not a plugin. This is core Vim, you don't have to install anything for that. You just need to have Vim. This works on any server that you connect to. If you just connect with uh, SSH to a server, you just have a basic Vim, you can use waypoints there. Um, and this also works in PyCharm. If you have the idea of Vim plugin, you can just go to settings, you can go to plugins. If you have the idea of Vim plugin here, um, this allows you to use Vim in PyCharm. And I'm always using this in my videos. You can do the same thing. You can say mark waypoint A. Then I can go down, jump to A. There you go. Jump to A. And jump to again means single quotation A, like this. Uh, and I can do the same thing with B. Mark B, jump to A, jump to B, jump to A, jump to B. Using this. Now, the good thing is in PyCharm, you can set bookmarks and PyCharm, the idea of Vim plugin combines bookmarks with the Vim marks. So basically, if I go here and I say mark uppercase A, you can see PyCharm creates this bookmark here. So I even have a visual representation of the mark here in PyCharm. And if I go to file two, I can set here uppercase B, and then I can just say jump to uppercase A using single quotation A and then I jump to this line. And I can be here and I can say jump to uppercase B and I jump to this line. And this is really a game changer. If you have 15 files that you're working on simultaneously in a large code base, and you you just at, at some point, you just forget where everything is. And even if you have it in your head, uh, in your head conceptually, maybe you have in the same file, six different positions, and you need to jump back and forth between them. It's just very tedious to do that. It's very, very useful to have these waypoints and to maybe have on a sheet of paper, A is this function, B is that line of codes, uh, code, C is that setting, D is where this happens. 
And then you just have to look at that and you can, you can think about it a little bit like a database index where you have um, the mappings A, B, C, D, E being mapped to important positions. So you don't have to do a sequential scan on your file manually. You can just jump to the respective position. This is a very useful feature. And especially for those of you who are already using Vim uh, and maybe you're not using uh, these marks yet, this is something that you should um, develop the habit to use. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.